first victory in the afternoon. Then John Arnold, then Luke Patchell, then Mick Gillen. Then Billy Penfold. And then Graham Hilton bring out the rear at the moment. Graham Hilton, as you probably all know, is the ex-passenger of Mick Cameron, riding the outfit normally ridden by him and Mick. So, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, they're well on their way now at half distance ahead of John Arnott, Russell Steele, then Luke Patchell and Julian Browning and Mick Gillen. And Malcolm Smith there in the chair. Those positions remaining unchanged and Bill Penfold stretches them more and more of a lead on every lap. He's really got that Godden singing here this afternoon as he takes the last lap. It's Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw on the Godden from... 251 John Allen, Russell Steele on the Nourish Racing Equipment, followed by another NRE, Nourish Racing Equipment there in third place with Luke Patchell and Julian Browning on board. And I didn't quite see what Mick Gillen was riding, and another Godden V twin there at the back. So, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw come up to take their first win of the afternoon. Cross the line, take the chequered flag, a win there for Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, followed by John Arnott and Russell Steele. Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in it, Mick Gillen and Malcolm Smith. And a little way back we have Graham Hilton and I think Chris Berwick. Right hand side cars and the only alteration I have is at number 15 Mark Newson and Billy Gilbert are non-starters this afternoon. Number 15 Mark Newson and Billy Gilbert are non-starters this afternoon. So the left hand chair boys wait to do battle again and they steam off the line for race four. And John Fish and Gary Moore are the first ones to the corner with the number 24 there, Tommy Penfold. And Liam Chivers. Coming slightly spread out and round the top turn they come and it is 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. Out in front. Tom Tommy Penfold and Liam Shivers, then 27, Ryan and Clive Holland. Then 862, Larry Lamb. And I'm not sure who he's got in the chair. Kawasaki outfit in recent weeks, but it seems to be on song here this afternoon. Part of the organising force here for the Brighton Club. Brian and Clive Holland, father and son, now they're in third place at the moment. So as they come up now to still in the lead then, John Fish and Gary Moore from Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. Then Brian and Clive Holland and then Larry Lamb. And Keith Lesseter and Emma Cree bringing up the rear. Now goes the last lap flag then, it's 173. John Fish and Gary Moore still holding the lead from Tommy Penfold and Liam Shivers. And a big clouds of smoke and steam coming out of Brian Holland's outfit there. I'm not sure if it will finish the race. Brian and Clive Holland, perhaps they haven't sorted quite all the bugs out, but they're giving it the big enough that back straight. And there's Larry Lamb there. And then Keith Lesseter and Emma Cree bringing up the rear. So as the leaders mix with the tail enders, they come up to take the chequered flag. That's a win for 173. John Fish and Gary Moore. From Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers, number 24 in second place. Then 27, Brian and Clive Holland. Managing to hold on to that third. I thought it was five laps. Scoring man out there. That they, he's got four fingers and a thumb and to ignore the thumb. <laughs> Race five coming to the line then. One, two, three, Dave Penfold goes in this one. Two, two, six, Bernie Townsend. Bernie Townsend, that should be Neil Cuff and Bernie Townsend. They put the, oh, oh, well, I've been corrected. Seems that Bernie Townsend is going to ride that machine this afternoon. With John O'Donnell, Chris Berry, Duncan Fish and Ray Tallett off the line they go then. We could be an outfit or two short, but Dave Penfold goes screeching into the lead. Followed by numbers 174 and 38, they're both side by side. 
That's Duncan Fish and Chris Berwick on separate outfits. So, Dave Penfold. I'm Brian Holland, is
second and third place battle really livens up there. It's a runaway at the moment for Ben Howe, number 224. Very fast around that turn he is too, and he's got the bit between his teeth here this afternoon. And it's Steve Wilson in second, then Alan Harmer, then Jason Jennett, Michael Randall, Malcolm Smith, Jeff Stoner, Ryan Cornelius. Oh, we've got a few riders in this one. But Ben Howe's not frightened of any of them. He's out in the front and gone. He's twisting that throttle, a very fast circuit here at Stenin Ham Farm. In Stenin, organised by the Brighton District Motorcycle Club. An excellent afternoon of grass track entertainment. Ben Howe going for gold there, then Steve Wilson and Jason Jennett trying to get in amongst them. Alan Harmer comes through past Jason Jennett and sets his sights on John Wilson, but Ben Howe knows nothing about any of it. He's leg trailing, he's flat out, he's coming up to take the last lap flag. It's Ben Howe out in front from John Wilson, Alan Harmer, then Jason Jennett. Alan Harmer trying it on the inside of John Wilson there, but not quite managing it. Ben Howe, runaway leader, enters the last turn for the last time. Trails that leg, winds on that throttle, puts his head down, comes across the line. There goes the checkered flag, a win for Ben Howe. Second race, very close, but just goes to John Wilson from Alan Harmer in third and Jason Jennett in fourth. Get out, Michael Elias gets fifth, then Michael Randall Jr. in sixth. Then Malcolm Smith. and Doug Norris, Doug French, sorry, and Adrian Harden bringing up the number five, T Munnery, 37, Matthew Lewin, 87, Stephen Turner, 212, Chris Atkinson, 97, Mick O'Donnell, but no number 15, I believe Mark Newson is a non-starter. So, no Mark Newson in this one, the rest of it should be as per your programme. Number five, P Munnery. That's Paul Munnery and Ian Weil. Paul Munnery and Ian Weil, ride number five, 37. Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris. A2, Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. 212, Chris Atkinson and Vaughan Roberts. 97, Mick O'Donnell. And we should have Simon Clark in the chair. And a non-starter in number 15, Mark Newson. So we should have five outfits over there on the line. One outfit having trouble getting started, but uh, I think it's all underway now. It looks like there's more than five outfits there, so we could have an additional runner in this one. Tony Baseby have made the best of the start and got down to that first turn first. Big squirt of that Kawasaki 1000cc machine, ZX10, and he's on his way up the straight with Matthew Lewin. So Stephen Turner, Matthew Lewin, Paul Munnery, Dave Souter. I do believe that it's a combined effort, yes, must be a combined effort of both races in one. And we have an early retirement by number 38 there. Chris Berwick. Chris Berwick takes to the middle of the centre green. Coming round there now, held in front, 82, Stephen Turner. And Tony Baseby, followed by Paul Mullery and Ian Weil. On what looks like the ex-Steer outfit, ex-Jason Steer outfit there. And bring up the rear there, number 94, E. Colvin. So, the last lap flag's gone already, and that's the outfit of Stephen Turner. Tony Baseby ahead of the 
of Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris in second place, but they seem to have no answer to Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby at the moment. It's the last turn for the last time, and they're almost catching up with the tail enders in just four short laps. Round they come, take the checkered flag. That's the first win of the afternoon for Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby, followed by Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris in second spot. And And Andy Glennie, you know, I think that was fourth spot, could have been fifth. And crossing the line now to complete race distance. Number 94, race number 10. Back to the 250cc solos. And in this one we have our Star Lady Rider going again, 107, Samantha Flatman. goes into an early lead and it's Wayne Andrews and then Dean Camier. And Dean Camier and Wayne Andrews force their way past Brian Cornelius. He's out in front at the moment and going for gold. But Dean Camier's going in a lot of ground up that back straight and just zips up the inside going into that turn. Brian Cornelius squirting around the outside but it's a long way around the outside. Dean Camier gets the motor on early, comes down that straight. Dean Camier leading, Brian Cornelius second, then Wayne Andrews in third, then Mark Giles and Jamie Pantry. Jamie Pantry, you remember, won the first race of the afternoon and he is, in addition to your programme, taking the place of number 229, Richie Knight. So, 44. Come here. Dean, come here. Coming round there. Well, it's clear. Off Brian Cornelius holding on to a good second place at the moment. Scoring the points to get into the final later on this afternoon. So, Dean, come here. Certainly pulling away. He seems to be the fastest man on this circuit this afternoon. Right in that 250cc machine and, uh, as I said before, residing in the Ashford Romney Marsh area of Kent. Putting in a good appearance here this afternoon, making the distance worthwhile. 44, Dean Camier, from 48, Brian Cornelius. Then Wayne Andrews gets up into third place, past Mark Giles. Then Jamie Pantry, holding on to the fifth spot. But Dean Camier, well, well clear of the rest of the field. Gives that Suzuki another squirt of the throttle. The checkered flag is out. That's the second win of the afternoon for number 44, Dean Camier. In second place, 48, Brian Cornelius on another Suzuki. Then Mark Giles, Wayne Andrews. Jamie Pantry, and a little way back we get Robin Pilcher, and Alan Dan, Samantha Flatman, Martin Filmer, and in 10th place, number 8, Martin Filmer. The winner's time, 1 minute 40.78. From the top, 44, 48, 26, 228, 120, 174, 20, 107, 21, and eight, one minute forty point seven eight. Race number eleven. And away we go. Terry Charles and Steve King get to the first turn first. With Alan Carman in close attendance. Alan Carman trying to go around the outside of Steve King. There gets himself up into second position. Steve King fighting back as they come into that turn, but Terry Giles has got it all his own way at the moment. Nice tight line there from Terry Giles, and number 131, Alan Carwin, having to go out wide and a long way round. Then Steve King holding third spot. So, Terry Giles, out to show that he means business here this afternoon. And we're already into the second leg of the afternoon. Around that turn he comes again, a very nice tight inside line, doesn't like moving from those inside pegs, half distance. Terry, Yogi Giles in first place from 131. Alan Carman, then Steve King. And the field getting rather spread out as they go round. So, 300, Terry Giles. So coming around that last turn for the last time, check.
checkered flag awaits him. Another last square to the throttle, and here he goes. His first victory of the afternoon, number 300, Terry Giles. From Alan Carmen, number 131 in second place. 66, Steve King taking third. Well, already we're going back into the left-hand sidecars. And I can see in this one we've got number 123, Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer, who have already got one race win to their credit here this afternoon. So race 12 it is, this 123, Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer from 188, Luke Patchell and Julian Browning, and Graham Hilton. Thank you. 
Had a couple of seasons there as an also ran, but he's back out in full flight this season. Must have tweaked the motor a little bit better, must have that little bit more enthusiasm. Around the turn they come then, very quick indeed. The checkered flag goes, it's Johnny Arnold and Russell Steele that win. Ron Mickin and Malcolm Smith in second. Brian and Clive Holland seem to have problems, so they're trying to get over the line. Didn't quite get it. Bill Penn, Billy Penfold and Paul Bolton just beat him over the line there. Then number 38, Chris Berwick and Kevin Cooper. And Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle bringing up the rear. And I don't think we saw Ernie Penfold earlier. I believe he's away on holiday this afternoon and unable to take part. So 125, Ernie Penfold, a non-starter this afternoon. Didn't see 226 Bernie Townsend first time out. Maybe he's on his bugs out. Perhaps he'll be out this time. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, they had a win first time out. They're back to do battle again this time. 21, Keith Lessiter and Emmy Emma Cree. They're there as well. 174, Duncan Fish. And 173, John Fish. With Gary Moore in the chair. second place there at the moment. Only four outfits out in this one, but that won't take away from the spectacle of left-hand sidecar, grass track racing. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, surely the masters of it here this afternoon, but you've got to watch Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. They can challenge Bill in the final. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, the unforgotten V twin from Duncan Fish and Gary Moore, John Fish and Gary Moore, then Duncan Fish and John Tyso. Then Keith Lassiter and Emma Cree. Nice to see the ladies taking part here this afternoon. We have a lady in the 250 solos and we have another lady in the left-hand sidecars. How about another, a girl's crew and the right-hand sidecars? That's what I'd like to see. Round they come then. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. John Fish and Gary Moore. Duncan Fish and John Tyso. Keith Lassiter and Emma Cree. Chains come off there, it certainly looks like the yes, the chain is laying along the ground there. Keith Lesser and Emmy Cree having the bad luck and having to pull out of race number 14. But there's a win for number two, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Followed by John Fish and Gary Moore, then Duncan Fish and John Tyso. Only three to finish. Coming to the line, the second leg of the 500cc solos. Non-starter in this one will be number 25, Jonathan Duke. He's a non-starter. I think he's still struggling to get the 500cc machine together. I know his 350 is out there in full force and very fast this season, but uh, no 500 for Jonathan just yet. There they go then, race number 15. Down the straight they go. Michael Randall leads, Jeff Stoner in second place, sneaking up the inside, takes the lead out of that turn. It's Jeff Stoner then that goes up that back straight. Michael Randall zips up the inside and takes the lead away from him. So it's Michael Randall from Jeff Stoner. Then it looks like John Wilson. And the other Michael Randall. So it's Michael Randall Jr. that leads. John Wilson trying to go round the outside. Tries to stamp his authority on this race and he squirts his way to the front. So it's John Wilson now up that back straight, hotly pursued by Michael Randall Jr. <laughs> Michael Randall Jr. looks like he's going to be overtaken by Jeff Stoner, but John Wilson out in front. Michael Randall Jr. breaks down. So it's John Wilson, Jeff Stoner, Michael Randall Sr., Byron Cornelius. Graham Knievel, and at the back Phil Buckley, around they come then, John Wilson, feet on the footrest, powering round, takes the last lap flag, from Jeff Stoner in second place, then Brian Cornelius, Michael Randall Sr., Graham Knievel, Michael 
Mike Webster and Phil Buckley. And Michael Randall Jr. has got it going again, but he's well behind the rest of the pack. Here comes the checkered flag then. John Wilson it is that wins. Brian Cornelius sneaks into second place. Then 6-2-0, Michael Randall Sr., then Graham Knievel, then Mike Webster, then Phil Buckley. And Malcolm Ra Randall Jr. completing full race distance. We lost Jeff Stoner there somewhere. Not quite sure where he went, but it's the second time we seem to have lost Jeff this afternoon. Not having the best of luck. In second place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. In third place, 6-2-0, Michael Randall, senior. In fourth place, number 11, Graham Knebel. In fifth place, 1-6-1, Mike Webster. In sixth place, 3-3-6, Phil Buckley. And in seventh place, 3-6-9, Michael Randall, Jr. And no other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 40.56. From the top, 2-1-4, 48. 620, 11, 161, 336, and 369. No eighth, ninth, or tenth finishes. 1 minute 40.56. Well, while this race gets into line, the Mason Aces Motorcycle Club's Grass Track, 23rd of June at Stone Street, Dominge, 1 o'clock start, 2 miles from Junction 11 off the M20. 250s, 350s, 500s, left hand, right hand chairs. Entry is closed today. Any riders interested in entering should see Jenny Clark in the blue Montego beside Peter and Pearl's photos. Particularly required right hand side cars. On they go then. In race number 16, it's Ben Howe going to lead. Remember he won first time out. Steve Wilson's gone up the inside. Ben Howe powers around the outside. The battle is on between those two in this one. Ben Howe and Steve Wilson. Very close together as they come around that corner and Steve Wilson trying to running his nose to come on terms. He's got a good inside line. What's he done there? Yes, he's got by Ben Howe. Steve Wilson and Ben Howe. Ben Howe again goes right around the outside, gets the motor on and powers up that straight, takes the lead back again. Now Steve Wilson gains a few yards on the straight, into the turn they go. I'm sure Ben Howe won't leave him at a cap like he did last time. He squirts out of that corner, he's much tighter this time, but not as tight as Steve Wilson. Steve Wilson, however, struggling to come on terms. Jason Jenny there in third, Alan Harmer and Ricky Sanford battling it out for fourth place. Then we got Robin Belcher, Malcolm Smith, James Cramp. And Adrian Harden bringing up the rear. Coming down from my left, the last lap flag in sight. It's 244, Ben Howe, then 215, Steve Wilson, then Ricky Sanford and Jason Janet still battling hard. Then Alan Harmer, then 247, then Robin Belcher, then Malcolm Smith and James Graham. So the last lap flag goes down and the checkered flag comes out and it's a win for 244, Ben Howe. Followed home by 215, Steve Wilson, 04, Ricky Sanford, 165, Jason Jennett. 121, Alan Harmer, 174, Robin Pilcher. 145, James Cramp, number one, Malcolm Smith. 331, Peter Watson, 247. T. Mason, and number two, Adrian Harden. 16 and 18 condensed together, and I'm not quite sure who is here and who isn't, but we definitely haven't got number 15, Mark Newson. He is definitely a non-starter. I think we did have 38, Chris Berwick. Haven't seen 97, Mick O'Donnell. Number five, Paul Munnerini and Weil. Number eight, Mark and Dave Souter. 37, Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris. 51, Andy and Jason Glenny. Don't remember seeing 212, Chris Atkinson. 94, Eric Colvin, we did have. 44, Alan Murray, I don't remember seeing. And 82, Stefan Turner. He won first time out with Tony Baseby in the chair. So let's see how they go in this one. Races 17 and 18 combined. Long line up of right hand chairs on the line there. No doubt Stephen Turner and Tony Bates, we would like to put one over them again. It's a very, very fast start, but uh, from this distance I can't quite see who is who, but it looks like Stephen Turner in second place, trying to come round Matthew Lewin. Is that in first place? Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris? So, Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris lead this one with 82 Stephen Turner. Tony Bates in second place. Then Alan Murray is there in third. And the Suter Brothers there in fourth. So the battle is on. A lot of chairs go in this one. 
Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris holding on to the lead at the moment. Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby trying to come on terms from behind in second place. Dressing a little bit wide as they come out of that turn. But that's still a nice midfield line. Comes up alongside Matthew Lewin on the straight side into the next corner together. And yes, Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby have taken the lead. Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby out in front from Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris in second place. This is how they were in the first race of the afternoon. And Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby stamping their authority on the right-hand side car class here this afternoon. No final this afternoon. It will be decided on points. So you can't ease up and say, well, second place is doing with the final. It's all on points this afternoon. It's Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby well out in front there with Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris still holding a good, consistent second spot. So around the turn they come, the chequered flag in their side. That's the second win of the afternoon for Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. Followed by Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris in a brilliant second place. Then Alan Murray in third. Then the Suda brothers. Then the Glennies. Then Paul Munnery and Ian Weil. Looking every bit like Jason Steer in Jason Steer's old letters on Jason's old outfit. Then in sixth place, number 94. Seventh place, sorry. Number 94. Eric and... Brother Colvin, winner's time, 1 minute 26.85, from the top, 82, 37, 44, 8, 51, 5 and 94, 1 minute 26.85, very fast on the mark there with those 250cc solos and Wayne Andrews takes the lead this time. From Jamie Pantry there in second spot, Jamie Pantry goes wide, lets them up on the inside, mistake he won't have to make too often. So away he goes, Wayne Andrews, number 228, holding a good lead in this, the third leg of the 250ccs. Alan Carman trying his hardest to come around the outside, but he's got to learn the inside is the faster way around. Then Steve King, then Jamie Pantry, Robin Pilcher, Colin Beachin. So up that back straight they go, and it's still Wayne Andrews holding a very, very good lead at the moment from Alan Carman there in second spot. Wayne Andrews, a very tight line. Alan Carman, a very, very wide line. Wayne Andrews holds it. Alan Carman in second. Then Jamie Pantry, then Steve King, Robin Pilcher, Colin Beachin, Robert Andrews. And number 21, Lee Norris, bringing up the rear. Well, a superb day for it. It's a little bit drafty. There's no dust. We had a nice shower of rain last night. Everything's in grass tracks favour here this afternoon. The last lap play goes. It's 2 to 8. Wayne Andrews from Alan Carmen, from Jamie Pantry, Steve King, Robin Pilcher, Robert Andrews, Colin Beachin, and Lee Norris. Wayne Andrews looks over his wrong shoulder, then looks over the right shoulder, and he wins. Alan Carman takes a good second place. Jamie Pantry there, scoring well in third. Then Steve King, very consistent in fourth. Robin Pilcher. Robert Andrews, Colin Beachin. And Lee Norris. Lee Norris. The winner's time, 1 minute 43.93. 250's coming to the line again then, and we've got number 300, Terry Giles, who won last time out and was third in his first ride. Very consistent ride this afternoon for Terry Giles. In there with him, 20, Alan Dan. I don't believe we saw number 33, Wayne Carman, earlier. Mike Smith, Adrian Hahn, Mark Giles, and many more. And away they go, yet Terry Yogi Giles has got the lead for Team Camia. Two race winner here this afternoon. Fights his way through from second to first spot. Dean Camier it is that goes into the lead. Stamping his authority on the 250 class this afternoon. So holding a good tight line around that turn. 44, Dean Camier on the Suzuki. Ahead of Terry Giles. Then Brian Cornelius on another Suzuki. Then 54, number 2, 28 and 107. 107, Samantha Flatman, our lady rider, at the back in this one. She's done well in the first two rides. Perhaps she's tiring a bit in this one. Struggling to keep up with the lads. But no, she's overtaken the back end of there. I think that was Martin Filmer she's gone by. So, Dean Camier. Out in the front and long gone. From Terry Giles, then Brian Cornelius. Samantha 
commitment takes Martin Filmer and holds off the challenge for him to go back by. Dean Camier then squirting out of that turn. Last lap flag there. That's gone for Dean Camier, then Terry Giles, then Brian Cornelius. Afternoon. That's three wins for Dean Camier. Then Terry Giles, Brian Cornelius. Then Mike Smith, Alan Dan, Adrian Harden, Samantha Flatman, and Martin Filmer. Number eight, Martin Filmer. The winner's time, one minute thirty six point oh six.
Duncan Fish and John Tyso. Holding a very slender lead between these two outfits. And as I say, there he increases his lead up that back straight. Both these chaps know now that uh, they've probably done a mathematical add-up on the start line and know how many points they need to get through to the final. So no point in blowing motors at this stage of the afternoon, but they're still going hell for leather. Mick Gillen takes the inside line past Duncan Fish, who shot a little bit wide through over-enthusiasm, and now Mick Gillen and Malcolm Smith have the lead. Clear of Duncan Fish and John Tyso there in second place. Around the turn they come. Beacon and Malcolm Smith holding, on, holding off the challenge of 174, Duncan Fish and John Tyso. John Tyso's machine blowing a puff of smoke there as it entered that turn. I hope that's nothing too drastic internally, but it's still going and it's on song. Coming around that top turn there now, very fast indeed, 100. Mick Gillen and Malcolm Smith drifting a little bit wide. Take their last lap flag, one lap from victory on the Nourish Racing Equipment, ahead of the Suzuki. Multi-cylinder, four-cylinder machine there for Duncan Fish and John Tyso. Often an interesting theory, and the riders, some of them prefer to have twin-cylinder V-twins, or up-and-down twins, as we call them, parallel twins, as out in front at the moment. Others like the multi-cylinder, four-cylinder machine. There's the chequered flag. That's Mickey and Malcolm Smith's first win of the afternoon from 174, Duncan Fish and John Tyso in second place. On to race number 23, that's the... Third leg of the left-hand sidecars. Indeed, the last left-hand race of the third leg. What a grass track treat we've had this afternoon. They've been given four legs up to the final. So, looking up to that line, race number 23 then. 21, Keith Lesseter and Emma Cree. 151, Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle. No 125, Ernie Penfold, he's on holiday. 251, John Arnott and Russell Steele, a previous race winner here this afternoon. Don't think we've seen 14, John O'Donnell. Then we get number 38, Chris Berwick. And Kevin Cooper in the chair. And underway they go then. Looks like we've got three outfits in this one, two running and one pushing. Around they go then into that first turn. Chris Berwick, that looked like, going around there first, then Graham Hilton in second place. And Johnny Arnott just gets his machine to fire up. He said, well, I can give them a lap start and still beat them. Now we'll see whether he can do it or not. John Arnott seems to have his chain off. That's a very disastrous run of events this afternoon for John Arnott. Chris Berwick and Kevin Cooper then leading. Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle in second place. Up that back straight, the position's remaining unchanged. I'm just trying to see whether John Arnott re-enters the fray or not, just to make the points count. It uh, doesn't look like he's going to from there, and that's a hell of a long push. Around they come then, 38, Chris Berwick and Kevin Cooper. 151, Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle. Why is it these machines always break down at the lowest point of the circuit, where it's always the... Uphill push from that point onwards. Never seem to break down at the top of a hill where you can always push them more easily. Round the turn they come then, 38, Chris Berwick and Kevin Cooper take their last lap flag on the Westlake V-Twin in front of the Gotten V-Twin of Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle. And up the back straight, there they go for the last time. They're entering the last turn of this race. Looks to be clean cut for number 38, Chris Perry and Kevin Cooper as they squirt out, they throttle out of that corner, cross the line for their first win of the afternoon. Chris Perry and Kevin Cooper, followed home by Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle. They're about the Brighton and District Motorcycle Club, so anybody interested in joining the Brighton and District Motorcycle Club should get in touch with... Brian and Clive Holland, or Jenny Cree here this afternoon. 
Sorry, Jenny Holland, wrong. <laughs> what am I saying? That's like getting Emma, Emma Cree in the. <laughs> That's like Emma Cree in the chair doing that to me. Right then, away we go then. Race number 24 it is. 500 cc solos and they're underway already. Down the first straight to go. 04 Ricky Sanford, 165 Jason Janet, then Steve Wilson. That's how they enter the first turn. Then Michael Randlin, Robin Pilcher, James Cram. They're all in there somewhere. Ricky Sanford then, holding a good lead in this one. He's had a couple of good rides here this afternoon, but uh, didn't always get the right result. But he's getting the right result in this one. 04, Ricky Sanford. A dead heat in his first ride. Second, I believe, in his second ride. And now out in front again, back on form. Sorry, third there in his second ride. He's drifted very wide in this one, and Jason Jennings come up hard on the inside. Can he make enough yards to do it? Yes, he gets in front. That was a mistake that Ricky Sanford shouldn't really have made. Jason Janet now squirting the throttle on, trying to pull away from Ricky Sanford. Ricky Sanford got all the hard work to do as he comes back up alongside, goes on the inside into that turn. Can he hold the tight line or will he slide wide again? He's going wide again. And Jason Jennings cut up on the inside. The last lap flag has gone. They're virtually side by side as they went over the line there. You could put a pocket handkerchief over them as they come across that line. It's going to be another tight race to the finish. Ricky Sanford setting the pace here this afternoon. He's out in front at the moment. He enters the last turn for the last time. He can't afford to go wide this time. Jason Jennings hard on his heels as they come around that turn. Yes, Ricky Sanford tightens his line up, crosses the line for a win. In second place, so a very brave try by 165 Jason Jennett, then 214 John Wilson, 174 Robin Pilcher, 145 James Cram, but it looks like he's got a puncher on the front tyre. That makes him a little funny around the corners. Then Michael Randall Sr., then Mike Webster, then Doug Norris. So, sorry, Doug French, that's twice I called him Doug Norris this afternoon. Then Adrian Hart, for Jeff Stoner in this one. 247 P. Mason, 187 Justin Shaw, 369 Michael Randall Jr., 971 Dean Norton, 215 Steve Wilson, 121 Alan Harmer, 336 Phil Buckley, 11 Graham Knievel, 331. Peter Watson, number one, Malcolm Smith, 48, Brian Cornelius, and 244, previous race winner there, Ben Howe. I will call Peter Watson, Paul Watson, one of these days, as is his real name, but uh, I'll get my tongue around that one day. Paul, Paul Watson, another 331. So let's hope we get a bit better luck for number 314, Jeff Stoner in this one. He's had two starts but two non-finishes so far this afternoon. So away they go, down that first straight. It's 244, Ben Howe and 121, Alan Harmer that get to the front there first with Steve Wilson in close attendance in third place. So it's Ben Howe up that back straight from Alan Harmer, local Sussex man, Hailsham I think is his area. In second place. Squirting that throttle in very hard round there. 244. Ben Howe, 121. Alan Harmer, 215. Steve Wilson, 314. Jeff Stoner, 369. Mal uh, Michael Randall, 48. Brian Cornelius, number one. Malcolm Smith. Second place heading Alan Harmer, then Jeff Stoner in fourth. Those four rather spread apart, and it's uh, looking like hard work for Steve Wilson to come on song, but he's looking down at that motor as he goes into that turn. Perhaps he's got the gremlins at bay there, and I think he's definitely got trouble as he drifts to the outside of the course. 244, Ben Howe on his last lap from 121, Alan Harmer. Then 314, Jeff Stoner. Then Brian Cornelius, Michael Randall. Had a very dejected looking Steve Wilson there with trouble. Can't see a chain on that motorcycle. Looks to me like uh, chain problems there for Steve Wilson. Ben Howe then takes the second flag and wins from 121 Alan Harmer in second. Then Jeff Stoner. Michael Randall, Brian Cornelius. Graham Knievel and Paul Watson. 
Malcolm Smith, bringing up the rear. So we should get the Colvins, number 94. Number 212, Chris Atkinson, has not been seen so far this afternoon. And 38, Chris Berwick, with his passenger. He'll be out there. No number 15, Mark Newson. Don't remember seeing 97, Mick O'Donnell. 51, and Andy and Jason Glennie will be there. 82, Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. Two wins to their credit, and away they go. Should also get 44, Alan Murray, and number five, Paul Munnery. Well, into the first turn they go, and it's an early lead there for number 82, Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. They made the most of the start, but look at Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris trying to come on third in second place. They've had two races so far this afternoon. They've been second place man both times. They're determined to stamp their authority on the runaway, Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. But they can't make a lot of ground at the moment. A little, gaining a little bit of ground as they go into that turn, but they overslide, lose that ground again, cut a tight line, but Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby holding on to the lead, winding up that Kawasaki ZX-10, 1,000cc, four-cylinder machine. Holding on to that slender lead, it looks to me like uh, Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris have gained a bit of ground. And again, they go very fast into that turn. But this time, Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby tighten up the line. Throw dirt in their face. Working up that straight there. Riding on green grass there, they were so tight that time round. So, pulling away a little bit now from that second place man, Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris. Alan Murray's there in third. Dropping back then, you get to Paul Murray, and Ian Whale on the ex-Jason Steer outfit. Then it's the Suter brothers and the Colvins at the back of the pack. Coming up then in to take the chicken flag. That's three rides and three wins so far this afternoon for Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. That's you and Doug Norris with their hands in the air. Hit trouble as they come up to the line, but still take second spot. And a bit of a battle of the other boys there, getting over the line altogether. And the Colvins bring it. Wayne Andrews there in second place. And Steve King in third, Mark Giles in fourth, Cohen trying to come through into third place. Jamie Pantry just a little bit wide, Wayne Andrews holding that very tight line, but it's still Jamie Pantry in the lead. From Wayne Andrews there in second place. And Steve King and still Mark Giles. And a bit of a gap back for the rest of the field. Mark Giles now comes past Steve King into third position. Can he hold it out of that turn? 120, Jamie Pantry from 228, Wayne Andrews, 26, Mark Giles, 66, Steve King, 54, Mike Smith, 61, Colin Beachin, 21, Lee Norris, and number 8, Martin Filmer. So the fourth and final leg is underway. Jamie Pantry's lead coming under threat there from Wayne Andrews. The last lap flag is out and it's coming down there. Wayne Andrews takes the inside line alongside Jamie Pantry. Wayne Andrews throws it into that turn a bit hard. Jamie Pantry goes wide. Mark Giles tries to come up the inside of Jamie Pantry. Very fast out of that turn and away they go. Into the last bend for the last time and it's Wayne Andrews now all the way from 120, Jamie Pantry there in a good second spot, then Mark Giles in third and Steve King in fourth. That's the finishing order. Wayne Andrews, Jamie Pantry, Steve King. Mark Giles appears to have broken down there. Then Mike Smith, Colin Beachin. Lee Norris and Martin Phelps in second place, number 120, Jamie Pantry, an additional rider to the program. In third place, number 66, Steve King. In fourth place, number 54, Mike Smith. In sixth place, number 61, Colin Beachin. Sixth place, number 21, Lee Norris. And in seventh place, number eight, Martin Filmer. One minute, 42.88. Race number 29 then, coming to the line. 48, Brian Cornelius. 44, three times winner, Dean Camier. Uh, slip into eighth place in race number 28. Number 26, Mark Giles. Race 29 and off the line, down they come. 
seen Camion didn't get the best of starts this time. That'll make him fight for his place in. But he's up to the second place already as he enters that first turn. Terry, Yogi Giles has got the lead though. It's Terry Giles then from Dean Camion in second place. Dean Camion cuts a nice tight inside line out of that turn and takes the lead very early on in this race number 29. Dean Camion then, Terry Giles. Alan Carmen, Brian Cornelius, that's the order as they come around the turn. Dean Camier enjoying the, what could be the fourth win of the afternoon. And don't miss our young lady Samantha Flatman at the back of the pack at the moment. So, in front, 44, Dean Camier in full flight on the Suzuki. Well clear off 300, Terry Giles, then 131, Alan Carmen, 48, Brian Cornelius, 227, Robert Andrews, 174, Robin Pilcher, 20, Alan Dan, 2, Adrian Harden, and 107, Samantha Flatman. So, 44, Dean Camier takes his last lap flag, he's just one lap from the fourth win of the afternoon. Terry Giles very, very consistent these first and second all afternoon. Then Alan Carmen. Then Brian Cornelius. Two more consistent runners. Dean Camier then squirts the throttle for the last time in this race. Crosses the line for his fourth win of the afternoon. Then Terry Giles in second. Alan Carmen, Brian Cornelius. Robin Pelcher. Robert Andrews, Alan Dan, and a battle for the finish here. Who's it going to be? Very tight on the finish there. In fourth place, 48, Brian Cornelius. In fifth place, 174, Robin Pilcher. In sixth place, 227, Rob Andrews. In seventh place, number 20, Alan Dan. In eighth place, 107, Samantha Flatman. Ninth place, number two, Adrian Harden, winner's time of 1 minute 39.96. Race number 30, Philip and Richard Davis, number 217. 251, John Arnold Russell Steele. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. 862, Larry Lamb and 24, Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. That's your lineup for race number 30. Next race in your program. Had it confirmed that number 27, Brian Holland, will not be competing again this afternoon, and his passenger is joining Duncan Fish, number 174. So, race number 30 leaves the line. Down that first straight they come, past the commentary boxes. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore get to the first turn first. Then, John Arnott and Russell Steele in second place, and Larry Lamb bringing up the rear. So, only three outfits out in this one. But the first two are very close together at the moment. John Fish and Gary Moore holding a very tight line around that turn in, and John Arnott and Russell Steele pushing them all the way. You will remember that uh, John Arnott and Russell Steele had a machine failure in leg three, so they'll need the points to ensure their place in the final. Up that back straight they go then. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore just holding on to that slender lead. John Arnott now tries to push his way through on the inside, but John Fish isn't having any of that. John Fish and Gary Moore from John Arnott and Russell Steele. And Larry Lamb bringing up the rear on the pink lady outfit. Every time I see the Pink Lady, I think of John Mills, who used to ride the Pink Lady back in the 60s, and what tremendous racing we had in those days. Nearly as good as the racing we're having here this afternoon. And look, after three laps, they're still virtually neck and neck. John Fish and Gary Moore holding on to that lead. John Arnott and Russell Steele now starting to get desperate to try and get a win in this race. Will they try the long way round, round the outside? Will there be a gap for them on the inside? They're going for it now as they enter that turn. John Fish, though, still got the lead, and John Arnott winds the throttle on early. It's going to come in around there very fast as they come up towards the line. Who's going to win this one? John Fish gets it. John Arnott in second. John Fish and Gary Moore win. John Arnott and Russell Steele.
in second place. Larry Lamb coming up now to take third. Well, a late coming to the line, looks like number one, two, three, Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. Perhaps had a problem starting the machine, but they're up to the line now and coming into line very shortly. Looks like a five outfit race. And Julian Browning, number 188, in second place. Graham Hilton holding a good third there at the moment. Looks like we're going to get two battles in this race, one for first and second and the other one for third. Front two outfits pulling well clear of the rest of the field at the moment. Around that turn they come and Luke Patch has come up the inside of Dave Benfold and passes it. So Luke Patch then and Julian Browning out in the lead, out in front, holding off the challenge of Dave Benfold and Steve Farmer must have started this race as pre-race favourites. So around that turn they come then. Oof, the left, the chair lifting there as they come round the turn. Luke Patchaw and Julian Brown are doing their best to hold off the challenge of Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. Then 23, Billy Penfold and Paul Bolton. Then 151, Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle. Then Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle ringing up the rear at the moment. So, let's get back onto the front battle. It's now Luke Batchel and Julian Brown in first place. But Dave Penfold comes up on the inside as they take that last lap flag. It's still... Oh, as I just say there, Dave Penfold cuts a real good tight line around that turn but drifts a bit wide and Luke Patchell gets back on the inside on the exit of that turn and reinstates his lead. Dave Penfold putting his head down as the dirt belts him in the face. He's not used to seeing too much of that stuff. It's the last turn for the last time and it's Luke Patchell and Julian Browning coming on a very nice tight line there. Dave Penfold's got it even tighter and it's a dash to the finish but it's a win for Luke Patchell and Julian Browning ahead of Dave Farmer. Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. Then Billy Penfold and Paul Bolton. Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle. Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle bringing up the rear there. Well, certainly a two-stage race was that one, but a very good win there for Luke Paschal and Julian Brown in a very brave try by Dave Penfold. Although the program says L Paschal, it's Terry Paschal there on the, on the driving seat and Luke Paschal in the chair. Terry and Luke Paschal there. 188, the winners of that race. In second place, 1, 2, 3, Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. In third place, 23, Billy Penfold and Paul Bolton. In fourth place, 151, Graham Hilton, Dominic Doyle. And in fifth place, number 30, Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle. One minute, 46.54. Down the straight they come then, very quick indeed. It's Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw out in front this time. From Duncan Fish and Clive Holland there in second place. Then Chris Berwick. And uh, bringing up the rear, Keith Lesseter and Emma Cree. second and goes through, but Bill Penfold knows nothing of this, he's out in front and long gone, winding up that Gotten V Twin. <laughs> Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, well clear of the rest of the field. A combination of Kent Driver and Sussex Passenger making the best of everything in their favour. Taking the last lap flag. Well clear, well, well clear of the rest of the field. Some half lap in front already. Then it's 38, Chris Berwick and Kevin Cooper in second place there. Then 174, Duncan Fish and Clive Holland. Then Keith Lesseter and Emma Cree on their multi-cylinder Kawasaki. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw then come up to take the checkered flag. Another win to their credit here this afternoon. Then 38, Chris Berwick and Kevin Cooper in second place. Then 174, Duncan Fish and Clive Holland. 
21, Keith Lester and Emma Cree. On now to the 500cc solos. Full lineup in this one. 174 Robin Pilcher, 11 Graham Kniebel, 110 A Hobden, 336 Phil Buckley, 314 Jeff Stoner, 187 Justin Shaw, 247 Peter Mason, 369 Michael Randall. With the man standing on our immediately left. Thank you. This is much better. We can see the start line. Here they go. Underway then. Race number 33. Down past the commentary box they go. It's Alan Harwood that gets there first. Then Jeff Stoner, Michael Randall Jr. And John Wilson. And indeed, that's the first three in that order as they come out of that first turn. But uh, Jeff Stoner being overtaken now by John Wilson. So it's Alan Harmer, John Wilson and Jeff Stoner as they come around that turn. Followed by Robin Pilcher, Michael Randall Jr., Paul Watson, Brian Cornelius, Graham Kniebel, Justin Shaw and Phil Buckley. And Peter Mason bringing up the rear. Around they come then. One, two, one. Alan Harmer, two, one, four. John Wilson, three, one, four. Jeff Stoner, one, seven, four. Robin Pilcher, then Michael Randall Jr., Paul Watson, Brian Cornelius, Graham Kniebel, Justin Shaw, and Phil Buckley. A bit of clutch problems for number two, four, seven there, Peter Mason. Start this last lap then. One, two, one. Alan Harmer from John Wilson. Jeff Stoner, Robin Pilcher, Michael Randall, Brian Cornelius, Paul Watson, Graham Kniebel, Phil Buckley and Justin Shaw. So the last turn for the last time and those two boys have really tightened up on that front line as they make the mad dash towards the finish and Steve Wilson takes it. Steve Wilson, sorry, John Wilson. John Wilson just ahead of Alan Harmer. Then Jeff Stoner in third and Robin Pilcher in fourth. Well, John Wilson certainly saved his best till the end and came good out of that last turn. A brilliant ride there by John Wilson. Paul Watson in eighth place, number 11, Graham Kniebel. In ninth place, 336, Phil Buckley. And in tenth place, 247, Peter Mason. Winner's time, 1 minute 35.15. On to race number 34, on the line now, and away they go, down the first straight. Past the commentary box, and it's that young Ben Howe that gets there first. Ben Howe followed by number 04, Ricky Sanford. And then Steve Wilson on a tight inside line there with Jason Jennett pushing hard. Jason Jennett goes by, and it looks like Steve Wilson again hits trouble. That's the second time this afternoon. Bad luck and disaster have struck that young man. Out in front, though, here they come. The 244, Ben Howe from 04, Ricky Sanford. From 165, Jason Jennett. Michael Randall Sr., James Cram. Doug French and Adrian Harden. So let's let Ben Howe have it all his own way. He's well and truly long gone this time. 244 then, Ben Howe from 04, Ricky Sanford, 165, Jason Jennett. And James Cram and Michael Randall Sr. really going side by side there. James Cram, you remember, picked up a puncher in an earlier race, but he's on full song at the moment. Back to the leader, 244, Ben Howe, leg trailing, slides a bit wide, got the motor wound up, takes his last lap flag. Well clear of 04, Ricky Sanford in second place, then Jason Jennett in third. That's the order they go around that turn. The top three for the afternoon. In race number 34. So the last turn for the last time, and it's a big squirt up right tight inside line, right on the pegs there, laps the tail into 244. Ben Howe wins from 04 Ricky Sanford, 165 Jason Jennett. Bit of a gap back there to Michael Randall Sr. Seen to have lost James Cramp to the centre green yet again. Stephen Turner has had three wins to his credit this afternoon, and... Uh, Second on each occasion has been number 37, Matthew Lewin. So no doubt Matthew Lewin would like to put one over Mr. Turner in this one. Even if it wouldn't make him win on points, just stamp his authority on a right-hand sidecar class. Underway they go, and it's down that first straight towards that first turn, and Matthew Lewin has made the best of the start. Stephen Turner was third and makes his way up into second at the moment, but Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris 
have made the most of that start. They've got it round the first turn, and Stefan Turner goes rather wide. Twice with the machine, the chair wheel lifted. But they've got it under control. Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris then out in front. Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby chasing hard in second spot. Three wins to their credit. This is the fourth and final leg. The result will be on points, not on a final. No final. This is the last right-hand side car race of the day. 37 then. Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris. From 82, Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby. Then the suitors in third. Alan Murray in fourth. Paul Munnery and Jason, sorry, and Ian Whale on Jason Steer's outfit, that's what I'm trying to say. But here they come on their last lap now, Matthew Lewin. And Doug Norris out in front from Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. But I don't know if Stephen Turner will make do with second spot here. I think the points will clarify him, the winner of the event. But it's so nice to go through with a clean sheet. It's the last turn now, for the last time. No time for heroics. But here they come, 37. Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris win. Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby pick up second spot. But my points tally tells me that it's Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby that win the event. Race number 37 then, on the line. John Fish and Gary Moore, Russell Steele, uh, John Arnott and Russell Steele, Graham Hilton and Dominic Doyle making up the line-up and away they go for the big race of the day in the left-hand side car class. It is Dave Penfold that gets off the line first. Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer from Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw in second place. Then Terry and Luke Patchell in third. Then John Arnott and Russell Steele, John Fish and Gary Moore, Duncan Fish and Clive Holland, Chris Berwick. Then Kevin Cooper, Graham Hilton, and Dominic Doyle. Well, that's the lineup as they come round there, and it's very fast indeed on the front line, and it's one, two, three. Dave Penfold. And Steve Farmer from Bill Penfold. And Nigel Shaw. And Dave Penfold seems to be pulling a few yards on Bill there. But Bill's catching up again as he comes round that turn. So the 1,000cc V-Twin Westlake of Dave Penfold in front, hotly pursued by the V-Twin 1,000cc Gotham in second place with Bill Penfold on board. Then the Patchels, Terry and Luke, then John Arnott and Russell Steele, then John Fish and Gary Moore. So back to that battle up the front line and Dave Penfold's got it all his own way at the moment. A very tight line out of that turn. Steve Farmer looking over his shoulder to see where the opposition is. But these finals can be a long, long way round. And anything can happen. But Dave, Far Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer are going for gold up that back straight. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw hanging on in there. Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. Bill Penfold, Nigel Shaw. And a long, long gap back to 188, Terry and Luke Patchell, then 251, John Arnott and Russell Steele, then 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. Chris Berwick and Kevin Cooper, Duncan Fish and Clive Holland, Graham Hilton, Dominic Doyle. So the last lap flag goes, so Bill Penfold must make his move there surely if he's to stamp his authority on the Brighton Club's meeting here this afternoon. But it looks like it's going to be a winner from this distance for Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. They've half a lap to go. They enter the last turn for the last time. Another superb line round their corner and Bill Penfold seems to have no answer. That's a win for one, two, three. Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer from Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw in a very hot second place. Then a bit of a gap back for third. And they come up to the line very close there. John Arnold, I think, just gets it from 188. Terry Pashaw then. Dunk, uh, John Fish. Chris Berwick. Duncan Fish and Graham Hilton. Well, lap of honour there from the, from the fastest left-hand sidecar crew of the day, Dave Penfold and Steve Farmer. Held off a great challenge there from Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, but Bill just couldn't find the extra amount necessary to get by. 250cc final, and they're coming up into line again in points order, so they get the choice of the grid. Pole position, if you like. The 
16 riders in this race are numbers 44, 228, 300, 131, 48, 120, 66, 174, 54, 227, 2, 20, 107, 61, 21 and 26. Away they go then, the 250cc final, the quarter litres get their final here this afternoon. And it's 226, Wayne Andrews and leads into the first turn with 44, Dean Camier, our four heat winner, going up on the inside, making his move there, squirts that throttle, pulls out of the turn in first place. That's Dean Camier on his way to victory surely here this afternoon in the 250 class. Dean Camier then, Wayne Andrews holding a good second, Terry Giles back a little way there in third, Alan Carmen thundering his way around the outside. That's Dean Camier, Wayne Andrews. Andrews, Terry Giles, Brian Cornelius, Jamie Pantry, and Alan Carman. Rob Andrews, Robin Pilcher, Colin Beechin, and many, many more. And Samantha Flatman there, following around the back at the moment. Has she done well this afternoon to be in the final, let alone, let alone try and win it? Around they come then, 44, Dean Cameo. From 228, Wayne Andrews, then 300, Terry Giles, 48, Brian Cornelius, Alan Carman, Jamie Pantry. Robin Pilcher, so Dean Camier from the Ashford Romney Marsh area, he's come a long way this afternoon but he's out there in full flight and stamping his authority on the 250 class, one of the most promising riders we have in the South Eastern Centre, a man who's sure to bring glory to his centre wherever he rides, 44, Dean Camier then, out in front, Steve King in on the centre green with problems. So Dean Camier well and truly clear as he comes thundering down the straight past the commentary box again. In second place now, 300 Terry Giles, then 228 Wayne Andrews and 48 Brian Cornelius. Alan Carmen, Jamie Pantry, another man who's destined for the top surely. Then Robin Pelcher, Rob Andrews, Mike Smith, Alan Dan, Colin Beechin. And already the leader getting mixed up with the tail enders. That wasn't polite, was it? Overtook that lady like that. You'd think he'd stay behind. Dean Camier then lapping the tail enders as he goes. Then Terry Giles holding second place. Wayne, Wayne Andrews still holding third. Brian Cornelius holding fourth there, trying the outside line round Wayne Andrews at the moment. But the inside line does seem to be the overtaking one. Well, here he comes in. The chequered flag goes out. It's a win for 44. Dean Camier. Draw the tail enders. Second place goes to 300 Terry Giles, then Wayne Andrews, Brian Cornelius, Alan Carmen, Jamie Pantry. Well, 44 Dean Camier, what a ride, what a rider. Certainly a man to watch in the future in the 250cc. And finally, the final will be underway. Race number 40 in your programme. This is the big one, chaps. And the starters orders in, and away they go, the final underway, down that first straight they go, heading in towards the first turn, and Ricky Sanford's got the best of the start at the moment, then the two Wilson brothers, and where's Ben Howe, Ben Howe got a bad start in his midfield at the moment, top man on points into the final, squirting his way round the outside, trying to make up for lost ground, but he's way back in about seventh place at the moment, Ricky Sanford and Steve Wilson then flying round that top turn together, remember the first ride they had here this afternoon, they drew neck and neck over the line, Ricky Sanford, Steve Wilson, John Wilson, Jason Jennett, Alan Harmer, Ben Howe, Jeff Stoner. That's the lineup. As they go round that bottom turn, up the straight now and into the next corner already, it's 04 Ricky Sanford. Remember, as I said, him and Steve Wilson drew neck and neck over the line in the first race, their first race rather, of the afternoon, causing a dead heat, something we very seldom get in the sport. Ben Howe is now up to third place and challenging his way up. Steve Wilson hits the hell of a bump going out of that corner and loses a lot of ground. Ben Howe making the most of that to take the advantage. Up he comes then. Ben Howe now trying to go round Steve Wilson. Ricky Sanford though. Got a big lead at the moment. He's got to keep winding it up. Steve Wilson there in second place. Ben Howe in third. Then Alan Harmer, John Wilson, Jason Janet, and Jeff Stoner. Ben Howe goes round the outside of Steve Wilson on that bottom corner and puts himself into second position. So, from a start position of 8th or ninth, he's worked his way up already to second position and he's chasing hard after 04 Ricky Sanford. Ricky Sanford must now surely be hoping it will be a four lap and not a 
six, but he's going like the clappers. He's drifted wide. Ben Howe's got on the inside run. He's gaining yards and yards as he comes up that straight. It's still Ricky Sanford from Ben Howe, but Ben Howe is certainly moving faster. He's really coming up alongside Ricky Sanford now. Ricky Sanford's got a beautiful tight line around that turn, and it's the last lap. Ben Howe knows it's now or never if he's going to do it. And they, they start lapping the tail end as it's 04. Ricky Sanford, Ben Howe coming up on the inside there now, very fast indeed. Down that straight they go, there's just one turn remaining. Who's it going to be? Ricky Sanford looks like he's siren, and Ben Howe's coming around the outside in full flight. Getting mixed up with the tail enders again. Ricky Sanford comes around there, Ben Howe right alongside, and very close over the line. Very, very close over the line. I'll leave that one to the lap scorers. But what a race that was. A very, very brave race there by Ben Howe from ninth, right up there on the line. Ricky Sanford in third place, 215. Steve Wilson in fourth place, 121. Alan Harmer in fifth place, 165. Jason Jennett and in sixth place, 314. Jeff Stoner. Winner's time, 2 minutes 18.06. From the top then, 244, 04, 215, 121, 165, 314, 2 minutes 18.06, what a ride for Ben Howe, ninth off the line, first back round there, in a mere six laps, congratulations to him and tough luck there for Ricky Sanford, Dim pipped on the post after leading for so long, but he did look like he tired on that last lap. This then is the members race of the Brighton District Motorcycle Club and on starter here will be number 125, Ernie Penfold, and on starter. Well, a lot of outfits out in this one. And 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. John Fish and Gary Moore lead the pack round the turn. So, John Fish and Gary Moore holding a very tight line around that top turn. Down they come in one, two, three there. Dave Penfold's machine, who looks like Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. Then it looked like Brian Holland on somebody else's bike, which could be Duncan Fish. I'm sure even the organisers don't know who's who and some of those outfits when the numbers are changing, but we'll try and pick them up as they come round here. That's 173, John Fish and Gary Moore in the lead. Then 123 should be Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers, I believe. Then 23, Billy Penfold and Paul Bolt. 174, it's got Brian Holland riding it, but I'm not sure who it is passenger in. Come taking the last lap flag, it's 173, John Fish and Gary Moore from 123, Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers, 23, Billy Penfold and Paul Bolt, 174, Brian Holland, and not sure who that is, passenger in, Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle there, then 38, Chris Berwick, and not sure who's on the chair of that, Keith Lesseter and Emmy Cree, bringing up the rear. So the chequered flag goes this time round. Who's in front? 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. Then Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. Billy Penfold and Paul Bolton. Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle. Brian Holland. I can't tell you that he's on the side. Chris Berwick. But I'm not sure. I don't think there's Kevin Cooper. And then Keith Lesseter and Emma Cree. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the racing for this afternoon. I'll give you the result of that, the official result of that, in just a moment.